You guys, it's finally here. We are at part four, our final stage of makeup techniques that can give you more of a youthful appearance. I am Kelly Hyde. I'm a 20 year freelance makeup artist and a Saint beauty artist. And today we're going to get into the lips. How can we get that youthful, pouty, just kissable lip look, even though the skin around the mouth is changing, the lips themselves feel like they're getting smaller. What can we do to amplify them? Please, before we get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Before we can get started into makeup techniques for the lips, I want to talk about how you're caring for your lips. Um, the lips is part of the skin that can really get dried up and cracked and chapped and shriveled up and that does not help our cause at all because when things are chapped they're literally like they're shrunk and so i want you to take proper care of your lips if your lips are peeling and flaking like literally i want you to take a glycolic acid put it on a little you know cotton pad and like circular motions on the lips to kind of buff that skin off then i want you to put a moisturizer on and i mean like a face moisturizer put that on, seal it up with Aquaphor to seal them in. This is called slugging. And when you wake up, your lips will feel so much better. If you have like a more severe case, then you might have to do that multiple times to get your lips back in shape. Um, once your lips are in shape at night, all I do is when I'm putting my final face moisturizer on, I run that over my lips. If I'm using any hydrating products on my face, like um, a hyaluronic acid or anything, I always put that on my lips. Um, and then right before I go to bed, I seal them up with a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Aquaphor, and it has kept my lips in just really good condition. And if we can keep the skin on the lips in good condition, it'll help them just be fuller in general. Let's talk about makeup techniques that can keep our lips looking fuller. Um, I am gonna start with, um, this is indigo, this is a contour, and you can use whatever contour that you have, whatever cream contour you have. And we're going to kind of just, I'm using this detail brush, I'm using the small end of it, and we're going to just work right here on the outside. I am literally on the skin, but right on the edge of that lip, see that? I'm so, but I'm not on the inside of the lip. So stick to the outer line of your lip, but just like more on the outside. Does that make sense? And you can see I'm lining the lips, but I'm not going all the way to the corners because as we age, our corners are the first thing to start frowning. So if we go all the way to the corner, we're going to really show the focus of that turn downness and turn downness. Is that a word? We just made up a word. It is now. Um, so we don't want to go all the way in. We want to go a good amount. We want to go a good amount, but we don't want to go all the way in. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and lightly buff that. Nothing too crazy. Do we see already what that's done for my lower lip? Look at that. It's because contour is creating a shadow. So it's creating a shadow that what is there is <clears throat> a little bit fuller and plumper. Now, same thing, but we're gonna go kind of on top of this lip line. And here, you can do this however you want. So some people do not have a Cupid's bow and they want a Cupid's bow. Some people have a very sharp Cupid's bow and they don't like that. Use your contour to kind of create whatever you want. If you want to, some people, connect the tip of their Cupid's bow so they give that very pouty, like lip fillery look, you can do that. So use this as time to kind of create the shape you wish your lips were. I have one side of my lips that's a little bit less full than the other, so I like make sure I use this part of my makeup to make sure that they looked a little bit more balanced. So I'm gonna go in on this side. And I'm, I want to give the, ellip, the illusion that this is a little bit more round than it is for me. I mean, 
did I just get a lip filler? It looks amazing. <laughs> and again, you can take your finger and run it over there and just soften it if you want. And also, did not go all the way into the corners because see that leaves me with that more pouty look. If I'd gone all the way to the corners, you would be able to tell. And I don't like, you can't see it that much, but I have all of this like puckery skin in this area that I don't love. So I'm not trying to like draw attention there. I don't want to draw the ends of my lines into that so that it really brings focus to it, if that makes sense. You're going to put your lip shade on. So as with the cheeks, we don't want, if, if your lips are very full and you want them not to appear as full, then go darker and you can go matte. If your lips are not as full and you want them to appear bigger and fuller, then you want to go a little bit brighter. It doesn't have to be scary and you don't want it to be as matte. If you have shine, if you have gloss or shimmer or something on the lips, it's going to give this light reflection when people are looking at you and it's going to make them look larger. So make sure that you were thinking about that when you are applying a color. So I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do um, Madrid. I love Madrid and I'm gonna use the other side of this detail brush and I'm gonna put this color on. So pretty. See how nice that is? So it definitely, Madrid definitely has color to it. It's not obnoxious, it's not crazy. It's not wild, but it is not the color of my skin. So if it was the color of my skin or if it was very neutral or very nude, you would not see it as much. So if I'm trying to give the appearance of my lips looking fuller, then I need something that has a little bit of color. Now, what I can also do is I can use a lighter shade or a brighter shade or a gloss, and I'm gonna use Pinky Promise, which is this baby pink color that we did on the cheeks, if you watch that part. But I'm gonna add it right here, just in the middle. And right here in that Cupid's bow. And that draws attention to the center of my lips because that's the fullest part of our lips. I think that if you try some of these techniques, like this technique on the lips especially, you'll be shocked at how much fuller your lips look. And it doesn't look bizarre when people are on top of you. Just using what you have, just making sure you are following on kind of more the outside of the lines than the inside of the line. Much fullness to your lips. It's like, it will be such a game changer for you, I promise. So you guys, that is it. That is the entire series of all of my tips that kind of help you create a more youthful appearance just by changing up your makeup techniques a little bit. Um, if you have questions about any of them, please leave it in the comments. I'm always trying to get back to you guys in the comments. Um, and if you would like a color match for Saint or want me to choose colors that I would suggest for you, I would always be happy to do that. I have a link in the description below for how you can reach out to me for that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week.